Tonight, two nights of searching and still no sign of a teenager who fell into Elkhorn Creek. Witnesses saw 13-year-old Seth Carnahan and 15-year-old Caleb Hemmerline walking on a dam along the creek in Scott County yesterday, just before they fell. Hemmerline made it to shore, but Carnahan did not. Our Janet Kim has more on the efforts to find the team in our stop top story at 11. Here on day two of the search, crews are now packing up, calling it a day after they spent most of the day out here searching for 13-year-old Seth Carnahan. But most of the people out here today say they aren't losing hope. After nearly an entire day of combing through Elkhorn Creek in a grid search near the Great Crossing Dam, the search isn't over. We're aggressively going to pursue this, and you can understand that. We're dealing with the family. Obviously, they're distraught. Uh, you know, this is a young man, and uh, brings out the... Uh, Brings out the best in all of us. Close to a dozen agencies from across the state have been searching for 13-year-old Seth Carnahan since Saturday afternoon, when authorities say he and his friend tried to walk across the top of the dam. Both boys fell into the water, and Carnahan never resurfaced. We're obviously overly concerned because it's a juvenile. Dozens of neighbors and friends like Maggie Shell stopped by the search area throughout the day, offering support for the family. They'll be in my hopes and prayers. I will pray, but my heart goes out to them, and I really, really hope in the best of luck. I really do. Shell says her father even witnessed Carnahan that day playing on the dam. They said that they were actually walking on the dam, and they were sitting down and, like, splashing water. We've been told the 13-year-old is the son of a KSP sergeant and the stepson of a Lexington police sergeant, making the search especially difficult for law enforcement, as the search still continues as a rescue mission. At this point, we are committed to staying here until we recover this young man. With all those involved trying to remain optimistic. And don't give up. He's out there. Now, search and rescue crews say they will be back out here in the morning. Reporting in Scott County, Janet Kim, WKYT 27 News First.